He instead of the engine room. Now, I have to clean it. Don't have anything here. All around. Have to clean the bolts. Red Loctite. Torque down to specs. All right. And then let's go to install it. One is done. Let's fix the other one. This is 557 grams. This is 563. Just I just put it in on the scale to see how much it was. All right. Uh, then let's see something because I think I don't have the other one, or it's it might be somewhere outside. All right. If I place the brake rotor, one second, both hands. So if I place the brake rotor on it, it has very light play. Most probably you're not gonna be able to tell through the phone, all right? That's aftermarket. Again, I don't know if it's good or bad because I don't know if when we're gonna warm up, when we're gonna expand, what's gonna happen. I need some room, no need some room. Let's put the other one to see the difference. Now, with this one, it's a completely different story. Here. You're gonna tell me it might need to have a space for the thermal expansion. It might not need to have a space to center the brake rotor. I have no clue. That's why I don't feel comfortable doing this thing. Anyhow, I'm following the torque specs. specs. I'm cleaning with the brake cleaner to be dry the threads inside. The same thing with the bolts, torquing it down. Yeah. That's it pretty much. Moving on. Now, 30 foot pounds, torque down in a start pattern. Okay, I was going like this. The threads, it feels okay. I didn't feel any problem. It torqued down to 30 foot pounds, like I said, it's fine. Uh, one good solution is gonna be, instead, let us say, of fixing this, to machine this lip here, three, four millimeters, and fix one stainless steel lip spacer to center it. One solution will gonna be this. This will gonna be good because the difference is one millimeter. So you're gonna have a spacer. If you keep it as this, you're gonna end up with have a spacer half millimeter. So machine, let us say three millimeters plus the one four millimeters, and then you're gonna make two, uh, one stainless steel spacer two millimeters to center it to send the to center the brake rotor. Well, this is one good solution. Another one good solution is gonna be to don't have to do anything and to be plug and play, <laughs> but it's not. Let's continue. Let's go to fix one side, all right. Okay, this is the front left. This is, wait a minute now. Wait a second. This is the front left, all right. How it end up like that? And this is also the front left. What? What I'm missing here? What I'm missing here? I cannot put it the other way around because the limit's inside. And I remove it like that from that. And there was also the marks. So what's there on here? There is an arrow and there is an arrow. What, what the f all right, front left, beautiful, beautiful. Pointing front, rotating like this, fine. Front right. Oh boy. Mm, yeah, how lovely. Yeah, if I mount it, there is this offset. It's not gonna be possible to put it inside. Except if, no. What, one can go like this and the other one like that? I don't think so. <sighs> Let me talk to the customer. Let me talk to the customer. Test fit. Test fit. 
and have a question. It's been secured down, all right, brake pads are inside, fine. Okay. Question, why the arrow to be like this? Question, no, screw it. All right. Oh boy. What is this to? I mean, if there was four, if there was four washers, let us say big washers, I understand it might be to adjust, let us say, the bracket. I have seen that before. You're adjusting, let us say, the bracket back over here, this bracket. You're putting a washer to adjust the clearance to have an equal clearance the brake pads to the brake rotor. But there are only two washers and I have no clue where, where should I put these two washers. Don't answer. I know what you're going to answer. Okay. <laughs> should in only be installed by someone experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine, fine. Classic. The brake pad's a little bit more out than the brake rotor, and it's stepping till here. So that means if you move, let us say, the brake, brake caliper more inside, you can skim a bit the brake rotor, and you're gonna remove more weight. Or at least you're gonna step equal the brake pad, because now it's gonna make a leap here later on. At this point, at this point, you're gonna make a leap and you're gonna start making sound. No, it's you're gonna clean also this. You're gonna be always clean the top. Yay, uh, beautiful. I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous when I'm dealing with these things. I stopped thinking and I was just, I'm just installing parts on it. All right, nothing more, nothing left. I connect the brake line. I just bent a little bit here the cover to don't touch the line because we're touching. I brought also this rubber here at this point. Then it's passing through this one and it's mounted here. It's like that because there is no lip like the original one to come this. This two, one, two. One, it comes here. Now this has this rubber grommet and the other one comes there. All right. This side it's done. Need to bleed it. Fine. Let's go to fix the other side. <sighs> I mean, as more as more as I thinking, you know, it's it's wrong. You might say that you know what? Yeah, these brakes are overkill. Let us say on this application, it might be, it might be. But we're talking about brakes. Okay. Let's go to the left side, driver side. Just, just for comparison, okay? I'm gonna pause it here, I'm gonna start it on the other side, all right? Just to see the difference. How lovely. By the way, the brake pad sensor, I already plugged it in. The cancellation. <sighs> Ready the driver side, same like the passenger side, okay? Same space, it's leaving the brake pad to the brake uh, caliber, and again, slightly out. All right, same. Okay, need to bleed the brakes. Let me get this one. Fine. And I still do not know where to put these two washers. <laughs> All right. There is clearance on the bolt, I already saw that. To say that you're putting it here, but if I put here this washer, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put only one washer. That's making sense. It has equal space here. If I put only one washer, it will gonna be sideways the brake caliber. Right. That's how it looks like at least. All right, let's see that also again. Yeah, same thing, same gap, both sides. Bending a bit the 
cover over there. I already bent it also from this side here, just in case. I bring this rubber here to have more extra protection. That's it, speechless. All right, that's all, folks. <laughs>